Hi, welcome back to Nursing Procedure Demonstration. This time, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to take the patient's vital signs which comprises of patient's body temperature, the pulse rate, the respiratory rate, the oxygen saturation, and the patient's blood pressure. Just like any other procedures, we have to follow some protocols. First is, we have to identify the patients correctly. Second is, explain the procedures to the patient and tell her how she can cooperate. Then, thorough hand washing. And then fourth is, we have to gather our equipments which we're going to use in taking the patient's vital signs. And this time, since we are going to take the patient's uh, temperature, so we need a machine where we can take the patient's ter temperature by using this IVA uh, thermometer. And then we need also our watch to take and to count the patient's uh, respiratory rate and uh, pulse rate if we are going to take it manually or we can take it using the machine. And also we need this pulse oximeter which is connected to this machine. And a BP apparatus which is also connected to this machine or we can use this manual uh, mercurial spigmo manometer and of course the stethoscope and alcohol swab for disinfectants of this uh, equipment before using and after using to our patients okay let's proceed now to the actual demonstration before starting, we have to identify the patient correctly by asking their name or her name. Sister, what is your name? She may say Aisha. And then, aside from asking the patient's name, you have to check the identity bun. Okay, Aisha Ali. So, this is the our correct patient. Okay, Aisha, I'm going to take your vital signs. Can you sit down? She said, yes, I can. So, let's help the patient to be in a um, sitting position if she can, or in a fowler's position. Okay. So, Aisha, I'm going to take your temperature. Okay. Switch on the machine. This machine is the sure sign uh, VS3 made by Philips. And we are going to take her temperature using this IVAC thermometer. Once you hear the, the sound, ting, that's the time that you can use it and insert it to the patient's mouth. Before doing that, you have to ask the patient whether she took something hot or cold. Aisha, did you eat something hot or cold? She said no. So, can you open your mouth and then place this probe under the patient's tongue? Okay. Aisha, please lift up your tongue and then close your mouth. And then let's wait for some time until the machine read the patient's temperature. Okay. So that's it. The, patient, the machine indicates that the patient's temperature is 37.5 and it is normal. Okay. Okay, Aisha, that's all. Thank you. And then discard the IVAC probe to the disposable or to the trash can and then return it to the receptacle. Okay, so we're done with your with the patient's temperature. Okay, now let's take the patient's pulse rate. But instead of using the mannequin, I'm going to use a separated uh, arm sign later so that you can easily visualize what we are going to demonstrate or to show. Okay, there are lots of factors that may affect the patient's pulse rate like the 
exercise, the age of the patient, the sex, and when the patient is having fever, then hypovolemia, and also the positions of the patients. So all these things are need to be considered in taking the patient's pulse rate. Actually, there are lots of pulse points in our body. These are the temporal pulse, the carotid pulse, the apical pulse, radial pulse, the popliteal pulse, the pedis dorsalis pulse, and the posterior tibial pulse. But this time, I'm going to show you how to take the radial pulse. Okay, let's start now. In taking the pulse rate of the patient, assist the patient and place her arm in a comfortable resting position. If the patient is lying on bed, you can place her hand and uh, arm over the chest like this. But if the patient is in a sitting position, you can place her hand over the thigh of the patient in a downward position. The palm is on the downward position. Okay, to take the radial pulse of the patient, just follow the thumb and on the wrist of the patient, Place your two to three fingers in a lightly but squarely manner and feel the pulse of the patient. Never use your thumb in taking the pulse rate because it has its own pulse that you can mistakenly uh, feel and count as the patient's pulse. So in this manner, place the patient's hand or arm in a downward position and count it for 15 minutes and then multiply it by 4. Noting also the patient's um, rhythm, pulse rate rhythm, whether it is regular or irregular, and the patient's uh, pulse volume, whether it is weak or strong. When you are going to take the patient's pulse rate in one full minute, when it is your first time to take the patient's pulse rate and when the patient's pulse rate is irregular. Okay, so as I have said, there are lots of factors that may affect the result of the patient's pulse rate and one of those is the patient's age. And the normal pulse rate of an adult is ranging from 60 to 100 bits per minute.